kind of like weird fears. Like where do your fears come from? And what happens when you're clearing, clearing, clearing all your fields and you're doing, you know, all the healing and you're doing everything and it's still not shifting, right? So we had a young lady on TikTok um, allow us to look at her fields in regards to fear of drowning, fear of being near water, fear of swimming, you know, and I thought, you know, for me, I was like, oh, that's really weird. I'm a cancer. I love the water, blah, blah, blah. So when we looked at uh, her energy, um, it was very clear that it did not belong to her and it wasn't even past life, right? So there are a couple of questions you want to ask when you come up with things like, like that, that are repeating um, over and over again. And the question that I always ask and I teach all of my clients is whose energy does it belong to? That is probably the most poignant thing that you can possibly ask yourself when you're doing your own healing work. So whether it's a money block or an energy block or some unrealistic fear, the one thing that you want to know while you're doing that work is never assume that it's yours right? Because as empathic energetic beings, we are constantly receiving information energetically from everywhere. So the first thing you always want to ask is, even before you dive into any energy work is, is it yours, right? And in this case, it was not hers. And, I, you know, she really made me take out of my spiritual toolbox a lot of our shifting into higher consciousness tools and processes in order to be able to kind of look this up. And it was really cool because I did something a little different this time. Ordinarily, I would be like, let me look at it. I could tell you exactly where it's from. And I knew exactly where it was from, but that would defeat the whole purpose. So what we did on TikTok was walk the whole viewing um, people through this process of how to identify um what's yours and what belongs to someone else and then how to heal it and well that was my intention but what ended up happening is as we were walking her through these processes of discovering whose energy it was and started to figure it out once we figured it out that it wasn't hers it wasn't another person's right so then where do you go if it's not your people right it doesn't belong to your people in the 3d dimension then whose is it right well you have an uh, an energy consciousness that surrounds you in another dimension and they are called your team and your team is an, is contracted to work with you in this reality and to help you spiritually evolve and grow but they've also had had past life experiences that are still unresolved and what can happen is if they're still carrying that in their energy field you can be uh, negatively impacted by their trauma and that is actually what happened on the TikTok live uh, and it was super cool because once we identified it and once we recognized that that was what it was, the energy immediately started to shift. And by the end of it, it had all cleared out and we tapped into that uh, fear that she had around drowning and being by water. And it was really, you know, caught me off guard. It was really wild because it was gone. She had no triggers, there's no dense feeling or energy or hesitation, and she was elated. So super cool. This actually uh, was so easy and ridiculous at the same time. Some crazy work, 